Well, hello everybody. We are once again someplace quite familiar. I don't know how many of you uh, have ever been here, but it is the quite famous shelter. We have been here before. This will have been my third time. Been here. It'll been their fourth time being here. Not very many people have found this cache at this infamous shelter. But today, we are going to go try and find again. In the rain. In the wonderful rain. It can't be much yes. glorious geocaching day than out geocaching in the rain. I hope this isn't a known one of things to come. <laughs> <laughs> Wish us luck. Now he does say on the cache page, the cache description, that it is not near any electrical equipment. So we will not be touching up here or any of the conduit or the light going up around. Because you do have conduit and light. There's another light over yonder. We will not be looking at those because there's no need to be near touching anything. It is that time of year in which bees start making their homes and little crevices and joints and shelters like these. But we'll start looking around, see what we can find. Also said they're not on picnic tables since they can be moved, so no need to look at the picnic tables. You can go check the barbecue grill in the grease pot. <laughs> I don't want to go out there in the rain. thing is, with looking at all these crevices, I would think with a rain like this, they, they can kind of float wet. right out. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but as you can see, it's still dry here in the middle. Yeah. You never know. Have your flashlight and I'm looking for the crack. <laughs> Ooh, a beehive. As I warned you about bees. Did anybody think of looking at that spot? Oh my god, people. We found it! I think we found it! I really do think we found it! Our fourth can, time here. Can you believe we actually found it? And I think it was like Yay. we're only like our the fourth or fifth people to actually have found it. What what can we do to celebrate? Uh. I think we know. Geocaching career is done now. No, I'm all exhausted. So, we have the good honor of running into the owner of the Mother's Challenge outside of Peoria, Illinois, here at Geo Woodstock, Bruce Fuzzy B. Yes. Uh, just you, wanted to confirm that we did actually find it. Yes, you did. You found it. And, uh, I just wanted to ask, though, too, about this cache. Did you set out to make it a different cache, or did it just I really set that? it out to make it difficult for Mother. So she couldn't find it, so she could stop her from the numbers. The idea was she was not supposed to do do any more geocache because she found it. I know, I didn't that was the original thought. Yeah, I tried to make it difficult. Did, did you think it would take this long to even find it? Just no, I didn't think it would go three, four years. Yeah, it's kind of I've got mixed feelings about it. You know, it's been interesting, and I feel most guilty because all the time, so many hundreds of people have been looking at it. It's kind of But, yeah, it's enjoyable. Do you have any questions for us? Uh, how long were you there? Well, actually, that was our fourth time being there. Actually, my third, uh, my father, who's been uh, videotaping, and his wife were out there for the fourth time. Oh, okay. And I think our first time we were out there, probably like two hours. I don't know how long they were out there. But this fourth time, actually, we were only about there half an hour or so. Uh, uh, a lot of people have found it. Uh, some of the uh, less experienced people have found the numbers of Yeah, it's been interesting. Yeah. 
Awesome. Well, uh, thanks for the cash and everything. We're, we're honored to be part of the yeah, You're part of the prayer, right? It's yes. You know, yes. I hope everybody keeps it quiet. You know, it's just so tempting to talk to somebody. Oh, yes. uh, I don't want you know, looking at an idea of what to do. That gets out of it. Well, thanks again, and uh, coming from you at New Woodstock 16 in Cincinnati, Ohio, we'll see you in the cash continuum.